Welcome back to part five of the anode filters recovery and refining series. I've got this fourth extraction done. Is this four or three? I can't remember now. Yeah, it's the fourth extraction done here. I've got our palladium salts in these filters back here in the back. So now the next step is to get this liquid out of these beakers and through a filter so we can do a fourth palladium extraction. Before I can filter those solutions out of one and four into this flask, I've got to filter the solids that are down here out of this flask and recover the silver bearing solution that's in here. It's going to be full of silver. And then once I filter this junk out of here, I'll add some clean copper to it like I did in this beaker and we'll render the silver out of this solution just like we did here. And the reason I did it in this beaker was so that we could see the result and see how the silver comes out of solution when we add the copper. I'm not gonna use this beaker anymore because metal and glass is not a good combination. So what I'll probably end up doing is adding this once it's filtered to a five gallon bucket and then we'll add some clean copper to it in the five gallon bucket and cement the silver out. The solution sitting on the silver is void of any precious metals. It's just going to be a waste solution, so I'll siphon this waste solution into my silver refining stock pot. This is my silver refining stock pot. It's full of pieces of copper. So what we're going to do is siphon off this waste solution down into my silver refining stock pot. Here we go. transfer the silver out of this beaker into a, a five gallon bucket over here it's full of uh, cement silver for some reason silver has become a low priority with me and I've allowed it to build up and I've got a uh, a five gallon bucket full of cement silver there that I need to get running and get it processed but I have a tendency when I'm refining gold that's worth, you know, 100 times more than silver to uh, just neglect the silver. And that's why it's all built up on me. There's probably 50 pounds of silver in here. Rinse all this off. Get all the blue liquid rinsed off on, of it. Then dry it out. And then melt it into shot. And run this... Uh, cement silver through my electrolytic silver cell. Now we're going to trade out our beaker for a five gallon bucket. We'll put some copper in here, add this solution to this bucket and cement the silver out of this solution in this bucket. Right, we've got this uh, 
got this all filtered now. There's some junk left in our filter. I've got another filter just like it. And I'll add these two together and we'll process these separately. And now what we'll do is add this silver solution into our uh, cementation bucket. And we're gonna go ahead and cement the silver out of this green liquid. This was some rinse water that I had in a separate flask. Let's add this into this bucket as well. Now what we'll do is just let this uh, let this liquid react with this piece of copper in here. Stir it up. I'll take this out and put it covered up. Take it out. Put it under a rain cover because it's probably gonna give off some fumes. Got a tube of water here. What we're gonna do is go ahead and siphon our uh, silver solutions down into this funnel. filter that's what's in our filter right there set this aside all right here's our solution we've got us a nice layer of precipitate on there because I made a mistake and rinsed the filter out with water I'm just gonna go with it I'm gonna transfer this solution now into these two beakers Got a little DMG here that I dissolved in some hot water mixed with a little bit of alcohol. I'm going to add this right on in now. It's hot. Let's give these a stir. This will be our platinum and palladium coming out of solution here, just like before. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and filter out, filter out our precipitate, collect it in a filter.
go. We've got our fourth palladium salt extraction here. What we're going to do is take this now and add it to this beaker. Use the other palladium filters. We're going to add these to this large beaker now. These are full of palladium salts. Set this out of the way. These are our palladium extractions. What we'll do now is pull these uh, beakers up that have our solids in them. And I see another anode bar down in there. do is try to uh, move all these solids into a single beaker. I don't need them in two beakers now, so I'm just going to add that right on into here. Dissolve all the silver out of here. Nitric acid. Adding some distilled water. And some more nitric acid. I'm just going to keep doing this over and over until we get all the silver uh, dissolved out of here. to this beaker. There's some chunks on the bottom there. We're going to see if we get that loosened up. Once this loosens up in this beaker, I'll take that nitric acid, add it into this beaker. This is beaker number one here. What I'm going to do is add a little bit more nitric acid in here. I'm just going to let this uh, continue to react I don't have any heat going on in here. I'm just gonna try to get all that silver pulled out of those solids. Here I'm just letting the uh, reaction proceed, dissolving the silver granules that are remaining in those solids with that nitric acid. And I'll pour the nitric out of beaker number four into beaker number one, and just let this continue to react until we get all those solids dissolved. Adding some distilled water to a beaker here, 300 milliliters. And then what we'll do is add some uh, nitric acid into our distilled water. And that 
that's about 200 milliliters of nitric acid mixed with 300 milliliters of still water. I'm going to add this into our uh, reaction beaker here. See, I've got two density layers here of the acid and water that I just poured in. Eventually, it's going to make its way down here and start making contact with the uh, with the silver there. There it goes. And so uh, we'll just keep adding this little bit by little bit and keep working on this until we get all that silver to go into solution. That's just more monotonous, boring stuff like that from now going forward. So I think we're going to call it right here for part five. And we'll pick up with part six right here where we left off. Okay, this will conclude part five of the uh, Silver Cell Anode Filters Recovery and Finding series of videos. Thank you for watching.